Hi guys, and welcome to another episode. Today I am sitting down with one of my favorites who is creating like an AR universe on the blockchain. Um, we're gonna get into it a little bit. Neb from Infiniverse, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for sitting down with me again. Hey Matt, no worries. It's great to be here, thanks for inviting me again. Yeah, it's always, it's always good to chat with you, Infiniverse, for anybody who might not be familiar. Um, do you want to kind of give the breakdown, just kind of the quick Coles notes on what exactly Infiniverse is? Absolutely. So Infiniverse is an augmented reality platform, which allows us to create a virtual world on top of the real world. So the way it works is people, they uh, go out and register digital land, which represents the digital space of a real world location. They can place virtual assets there, 3D models, later interactive experiences and mini apps, mini games. And then we're combining the digital layer of the whole world into this, this one virtual world on top of the real world where all this content is you know, coexisting in the same place and it's from uh, diverse backgrounds and worlds and all interacting together. So we're really just extending the real world to, to uh, you know, make it more interesting for people to um, allow all kinds of uh, cool stuff going on. Yeah, I think that's, I really like the concept and I think that it's going to be popular for not only consumers, but for a lot of perhaps corporate entities. And we'll get into that, I guess, a little bit more here in the next few minutes. But there's been so much that's happened since the last time that we talked, man. Um, like Infiniverse is coming along really, really well. Of course, you just finished your airdrop, I believe. Yes, that's right. So that was yesterday. We, we did the airdrop and uh, launched the land auction website. So uh, the airdrop... Um, it, anyone who did the air grab got a one to one airdrop and then the rest of the accounts with over a hundred EOS got a 0 0.5 to one airdrop. And, uh, there was a cap of 10,000 in per account. And then we also excluded inactive accounts. Those that haven't made a single action since Genesis. And so in total 50 million, um, inf was dropped to, uh, just over 50,000 accounts. Yeah, I'm honestly like I'm really out of all the dApps that are coming out on EOS. I'm really excited about this because it's like this little, it's just a culmination of so many different backgrounds. You've got like art meets kind of like marketing meets like travel and exploration. And it's just a really cool way to kind of add some character to the map that you either see every day or every time you're traveling as well. So I know that you recently started kind of the land auction. This is one of the most interesting parts about Infiniverse to me is the fact that it's literally kind of real estate, <laughs> you know, like EOS as real estate in a sense. Do you want to kind of talk about what the land auction is, how it works and um, how somebody might be able to participate? Absolutely. So users have to register land in order to place persistent content in the world because, you know, other, otherwise if anyone could put anything anywhere, the world just becomes this big mess of overlapping content, right? So just as in the real world, digital space, you know, is actually a, a scarce resource. And so the, the way land works is I like to compare it to domain names where in the sense that it has a yearly registration fee, which is one infinity coin per square meter of the land. But then once you've registered it, you have the right to you know, use it, place whatever you want there. And then also you can sell it to other users or rent it to other users for whatever price you determine. And so initially, it's for the first seven days, it's actually an auction. So the most popular land items go not to, let's say, the quickest clickers, but instead the highest bidders. So uh, uh, after those seven days, anything that hasn't been bid on is instantly registrable. But the ones that have been bid on then become awarded to the bidder after there's been no higher bid for 24 hours. So, you know, that avoids auction sniping where someone comes in right at the end and um, yep. takes it from you. Yeah. What are kind of some of the most popular spots? Like just for anybody who might not know Infiniverse, you really should. But if you don't, um, you know, you're able to place kind of images and whatever you really want in this kind of augmented reality all, all around the world. So for me, it's, it's interesting because I think we're going to see it used in a lot of different ways. I think advertising on Infiniverse is going to be really, really big, man. Um, and I think people will be building kind of some new and inventive things, but ultimately you want to place your 
you want to place whatever you're going to place in a high traffic area so that people are able to see it. What are some of the kind of highest bidding things right now? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, high, high foot traffic areas is um, what it's all about. So, you know, definitely Times Square is absolutely filled up with, uh, you know, various people's lands. There's a, there's a couple of spots there because every time you outbid someone's land, you need to, so it starts at one infinite coin per square meter, the same as the registration fee. But then every time someone outbids, they have to increase the bid by one square meter, uh, sorry, by one inch per square meter. And so right now there's a few spots uh, in Times Square that are four or five in first square meter. I expect they'll get uh, higher still as, as the auction goes along. We've only just started. And then the, the highest, actually, the highest bid right now is for a park in Boston. It's for uh, about 140,000 inf, which is about um, $1,500 right now. So that's a really huge piece of land there. And then, uh, yeah, there's some, there's some other really big ones, some stadiums, the, the Louvre in Paris. And, uh, yeah, th there's, you know, there's so much land around the world. So, uh, th there's great spots for everybody still at this point, but, uh, yeah, it's really interesting. <laughs> it is. I'm particularly looking forward to seeing what some people choose to put in like some of the more, more prevalent spots, like for example, the Pentagon or the white house. Um, imagining is going to have some pretty interesting stuff. Either somebody who's advertising is going to snatch it up because that is a good buy or somebody who feels strongly about something is going to snatch it up. <laughs> it would be quite yeah. comedic, right? I can just imagine. So no, I think yeah. that's, I think it's really a whole cool. new form of protesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can just, I'll just throw it in the air. <laughs> I love it. Like I just, some of the possibilities that this opens and kind of, we talked a lot about, these in the previous interview like some of the things that you can do and just it's a new way to express it's a new way to advertise and it's a new way to kind of paint the world so i'm um, i've actually talked to some people who are planning on bidding certain things one of them is so cool but i just can't bring it up because somebody will just jump on it and outbid him but i'll talk to you perhaps after this about that uh i really like the product i really like what you're doing i know are you guys trading right now yeah, so INF is listed on Chance and also on uh, Dexios and Udex. And ju just a reminder to people um, who perhaps don't know, unlike uh, most EOS tokens, so INF is not an investment product. It's not designed to go up and up and up in value. It's designed to be a stable store of value for the Infiniverse economy. So if you want to bid on more land, if you want to, uh, you know, bid on some particularly... Uh, uh, highly bidded lands, please pick up more inf. But if you want to buy some to hold it for appreciation for the long term, that's that's not what's uh, going to happen. So that's like one of the most. You are the most honest man I have ever met in blockchain. <laughs> no, I love. We're, we're, you know, we're, we're using blockchain technologies for for the technology, not for the not for the hype and the speculation. So yeah, I love it. But I think you're actually going to bring a lot of hype and a lot of, probably not hopefully not any speculation, but just what you're doing in itself is is a really, really cool application for blockchain technology. So if you're interested in kind of painting the world with your own brush, um, go pick up some inf and then head over to the land auction. I'm going to make sure that I link to that as well. What's kind of the future hold for, for um, Infiniverse? What's coming up next? What's the next part of the roadmap? So at, at the end of this week, we are releasing, sorry, we are submitting the iOS and Android AR viewer apps on the, Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. So they should be out next week. So in this version, you know, you'll be able to walk around the world. You'll be able to see your land and other people's lands and you'll be able to play stuff on your land. So initially we're using Google Poly. That's a free 3D asset model database. And you can just search for stuff there and place whatever you want. And then, you know, looking towards the next steps in Q1 next year, there's going to be several things uh, we'll be working on. So, one of them is to be able to upload your own custom 3D models. You know, right now it's just stuff from Google Poly. Then being able to play stuff on your land basically remotely from your computer, not actually being there. And then, of course, a marketplace where you can actually start renting your land out to people and selling your land to other users and also trading digital assets. Awesome. I think that... Uh I think that Costa Rica is probably a pretty good potential kind of candidate spot with a lot of the foot traffic. So maybe I will, yeah. but I think like what you're, what you're, 
kind of talking about and what's really cool about you is you want it to be used. You don't want people to just buy land and squat on it. You want people to actually buy land and put up cool things and, you know, express themselves. and, and whatever. Exactly. You know, th- there's a few people come in and they don't really like the yearly registration fee thing. You know, they feel that's a tax that they don't fully own the land. And, you know, I get that people feel that way, but uh, this is important to us because, you know, to me, like imagine if uh, domains, for example, never expired. Do you think you as a newcomer could find any possible word that would mean anything? You know, I mean, yeah, it would be p- people, people need to actually be using, um, land, you know, otherwise, uh, they got to keep paying the registration fee or they'll lose it. So for sure. And as you mentioned too, there's kind of a marketplace coming where you can actually rent that land out. And I think some of these popular spots are probably going to go for quite a bit. And, um, I love it. I just, as I said, it's, it's a true use of blockchain technology that we can interact with in our everyday lives. And these are the kind of things that really excite me about EOS because it's about using, using the technology to do something different. And in this case, it's kind of like a freedom of expression and um, it's just a neat project, man. I love talking to you and I, I love what's going on. Make sure if you don't already have Telegram that you pick up Telegram, head over to the Infiniverse Telegram. I'm gonna list that below. I'm definitely gonna list the website. I'll list my previous interview with Neb in case anybody wanted to catch up on that and uh, go talk to him because he's in, he's in Telegram, very active in the EOS community and um, always willing to answer questions. So I, I suggest if you have any questions, drop into his Telegram, go visit him and, uh, and hit him up. And Neb, as I said, man, just a pleasure to talk to you again. And I look forward to kind of getting updated as we move along. Great to be here as always and looking forward to next time. Cheers, Neb. We'll see you soon.